Today on Shape It Up, we are talking about how to stick to your diet, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome to Shape It Up. My name is Nicole, and I am thrilled that you are here. First off, what I would like to tell you is you need to ditch the word diet. Drives me nuts when I hear the word diet. Now, if you look back in the dictionary before the 70s probably, diet just meant what you eat. Unfortunately, through the past decades, the meaning of diet has really changed. Diet today means restrictions, starvation, eating only certain foods, eating certain times of the day. So it's really kind of gotten a bad rep for being on a diet. When you hear the word diet, what are the first thoughts that start conjuring up in your head? I'm, I'm sure it's, oh, can't have that. Mm, nope, can't eat that. Nope, can't eat that over six, you know? So just get rid of the word diet completely out of your vocabulary. So how do you stick to your diet? And when I mean diet, I mean what you're eating. <laughs> your goals need to be way bigger than what you wanna eat. If you are sitting in front of your favorite dessert and it's a huge, say it's a huge piece of cake or whatever, and it's sitting in front of you and you really wanna eat it, you really have to take a second and go, which is more important right now? That I reach my goals or that I eat this cake? Sometimes it might be to eat the cake, but nine times out of 10, it needs to be my goals are more important than the cake. Because if you don't get to that point where you are choosing not to eat a, and it's not even about the cake, it's about the fact that that's really gonna mess up all the hard work that you've been doing. So you have to get to the point where you can choose. It's not that you're not allowing yourself. It's that you're choosing to stick with your goals, eat something else besides the cake, or to make sure that you are staying on the path towards your fitness goals. Another way to stick to your diet is to figure out what your triggers are. A lot of times, especially women, we tend to eat emotionally. Had a bad day come home and eat some cookies. You know, how to fight with your spouse or husband. You dive into a bowl of ice cream. Kids are driving you nuts. Well, I deserve a glass of wine. Whatever is going on, you need to figure out why you're overeating in advance. So it could be that you're at a social event and you feel pressure to eat because everyone else is eating. Um, there's so many different emotional triggers that it would be a whole nother video to go into that which there will be a video in the future talking more about triggers. But for now, you have to figure out what it is you're doing ahead of time or what is leading up to that moment when you wanna overeat. So not only just emotional triggers, there's also food that triggers more overeating. There was a study done about back in the depression time, how they were starting to make processed foods and they were adding chemicals in there to make it more enhanced and more palpable and people wanted to eat more of it. It's not exactly a good thing, right? Because see where we are now. Certain foods may trigger you to overeat. Potato chips are a prime example. How many times have you just reached in for one potato chip and then half a bag later, you realize, oh my goodness, you know, you just can't stop with one. What is that? There's an advertisement like that. I think it's Pringles or something. I'm not affiliated with Pringles. <laughs> so take a look at the foods that you're eating and see if any of those are triggering anything. So like I said, I will be making a video about triggers for food and overeating. So make sure you stay tuned for that when it comes out. And to know when that comes out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and click the notification bell and you'll be notified of the next Shape It Up video. You can also go to shapeitupfitness.com and get on my email list as well. All you have to do is get a free download of any of my products that are available. Do you have a suggestion on how you stick with your diet? Go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear from you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I will see you in the next Shape It Up video. But remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits.